Yeah. Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Uh, I do apologize if you guys don't want to see any Star Wars content. Um, but I literally didn't get to play the night of it coming out because I was doing other stuff. So I really wanted to get into it. And I'm trying to stay away from story. I'm just doing completion stuff. Like I'm just going around clearing out things that I wanted to clear out that I didn't get to when I was first playing. So I have no sound and stuff. But yeah. Let's talk about these episodes. Food War and um, Dr. Stone were pretty amazing this week. But I got to give it to Food War just for right now. Um, for what I'm going to talk about. Because... Not only did they give us some amazing uh, overall looking food, we then get to see what I like to say is, you know, reference, one of the reference heavy episodes where we get a Fate Zero reference of him pretty much taking uh, a page from the book of, (laughs) what's his face? Oh my god, I can't, Archer from fate slash stay the night and when he's in his realm he summons up like all these like infinite swords pretty much and with every single sword they have the ability of the person that he kind of uh crafted the sword from or thought his thought process of you know who the sword would belong to and because of this of course they have to showcase it in this and and a food war type of fashion and it looked absolutely hype (laughs) it looked super hype uh him using every single kind of like style and foods and stuff like that that he could to try to match uh the sword of just the mock battle version of this guy to now being able to see what his true skills were against him was really cool and how they played it all out and i did definitely enjoy it so I highly recommend you guys either checking out this episode or at least if you if you watched it and that's why you're watching this review duh uh check out fate slash stay the night and check out uh like archer like archer's ultimate or something I think it's called ultimate blade work um absolutely hype (laughs) like just thinking of how they really took took all that and really ran with it but with that being said we really only get to see uh you know so many like different weapons that he uses because the dish that he needs to do is a butter one and like not everybody's dish or not everybody's technique you know is really needed at this point or whatever the case may be and ah man like just seeing this food at this time definitely is not good for me like i really get hungry every time i watch food war and for some reason i always watch it when i have not eaten anything so i'm not that smart when it comes down to watching food war (laughs) Uh, but because of that it still helps me think i can become a master chef spadden soon or something at least make something innovative on on the fly or something one day i don't know I I truly just like that it always comes with something relatively new that we either haven't seen or they'll just play on something that we have seen already and give it to us in a whole like different light which I kind of uh, respect because usually someone's been beaten by the certain food and because they want to uh, you know up their game or whatever they want to try to get better at what they were what they lost at and then gives them a newfound like growth and stuff if they actually win in something they already previously lost you know so that's a pretty cool way of uh, doing that not only that we are pretty much getting a good amount of growth from yukihira soma um i don't think a lot of shows or a lot of shows I don't think a lot of episodes even really talked about him right like they didn't even give us any real speaking points to 
have with Yuki here, right? Like, they kind of just pushed him off on us and just called it good. And I don't know. I feel like that was kind of lackluster. It's kind of like uh, the second season of One Punch Man where it was just like, if, if I don't, I don't want to spoil it for anyone if you haven't seen it, but it's it's more about the other heroes than it is about Saitama, which I thought was a interesting choice to make, I guess you can say. Um, but with it with this show not really being about Yuki Hirasoma most of the time, it just felt like it was losing. It's it was losing its focus in a in a good or a bad way for people, right? Because either you're gonna want to see more characters, you're gonna want to see them shine, grow, and all that stuff, and that's that's either good or bad, right? Like, because either we get to see those characters grow and they get more screen time than our main character, or we literally get both because the show knows that. We every the, every show should have its side cast. It it should have people that boost up uh, characters, you know. But to think that lately a lot of shows haven't been going that route is pretty interesting, in my opinion, as a whole. So hopefully that isn't the case after a while, because it's getting kind of old. Um, that whole like oh. We'll just we'll just do that at a different period, right? Like we'll just we'll just give you guys that another time. <laughs> um, but if they do go that route, if they do give us actually uh, Yuki Hira Yuki Hira full blown episodes and stuff like that, I don't think people just want that either. You know, like I think every single character has. Uh, has had enough time and experience in this uh like the ones that we're, we're used to anyway right they've had enough time and uh, overall growth that they can kind of let them start growing in different ways they don't need to just win to grow anymore right like they can grow uh by losing they can grow by literally still being trained by people who would never usually take their day, like, time out of their day to help, and here they are trying to help you, you know, so, uh, stuff like that is relatively what I look forward to seeing, holy crap, I did not know this is a thing right now, um, but yeah, overall, seeing Yukihira come out on top was nice to see i'm just kind of concerned of when we're going to get more of a more of what's a guy who's kind of the big deal for the what do they they're not even they're not the rebels they're like the rebel the revolution i don't even know but because this big deal guy on the on the main team is kind of sketchy, you know, like his overall just prowess as a whole is not to be messed with. I feel, I mean, he beat up the the Curry guy, but I mean, we all everybody should know that any character that kind of was relatively introduced in the third season. Oh, okay, while you're down, you can still get hit. Good to know. Um, Everybody that was relatively new and not like at the beginning, season one, you shouldn't expect those people to win, I feel like, just because they're still new and they still have a lot of like time to grow and they're, they just don't, they don't matter as much as, um, so to say, like the girl who we saw this week who was fighting, uh, oh my God, what the heck are you doing? You really want this? I need to scan this guy. Um, but the guy who really wanted to uh, grow the most and keep up with our main character was, oh boy, uh, OD, uh, the guy who wins this week, right? Like, we've seen him literally from day one till now. So it makes sense that you know, he would he would have a chance of winning. He would have a chance of, you know, beating these characters. 
and then vice versa with our girl who loses we she should have been in just a good position to win too but you see what they're doing with the scoreboard oh now there's 4v4 like they're perfectly st uh, summarizing the tale of the take of having even battles all around but now that Yukihira won that means it will be 3v4 which guess what now we have a person who can lose on our team and it not seem too uh over the top because we have too many people on our squad you know so that's just how these things go and it's interesting enough that regardless of what we get in this uh conclusion i will be relatively excited to see it and i want to know if you guys are happy with what we're getting in food war uh disappointed whatever the case may be let me know in the comments down below definitely want to hear from you guys and i hope you're having an amazing day night evening uh i'm also playing an app game right now so i do apologize if i was pausing and stuff i had to continue to make my characters move forward at times so your boy is really multitasking out here. A new Bleach game came out, and I'm respecting it, okay? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, with all that being said, everybody, have an amazing one. I will definitely be dropping uh, Dr. Stone here really soon as well, so do not get on me about that. I apologize. It's just everything came at me so hardcore this week with the, the episodes. Like, every episode was amazing this week, so Dr. Stone just kind of was more of a build up that it was something like climatic or like something like action packed happening as of speaking you know so take care everybody and i will definitely talk to you on dr stone very soon so with that peace